Good evening, and welcome to my show, Around New Britain with Mayor Stewart. We took the show on the road this episode. We're here uh, coming to you from the New Britain Public Library. This show is meant to update you on the issues that are facing the city of New Britain. I want to give a big thank you to Nutmeg Television for this opportunity and assistance in providing the public with these shows. These shows will also be posted on YouTube, on my Facebook, and on other social media outlets. I made a commitment to the residents of New Britain when I was elected in November of 2013, and that was to make government more transparent and accessible to the people that we serve. This show is just another step in opening government to everyone in our community. I want you all to know, watching, that my office is always open to the people, especially those that are seeking solutions to the problems that face them daily. While we may not be able to fix all of your problems, we can certainly point you in the right direction and help get you answers to the questions you may have. We do this by email, by phone, through Twitter, Facebook, the city website, or even in person once a month through my monthly open office hours. You can see my handles at the bottom of your screen. The show will also highlight the many programs and people that have a significant impact on our New Britain community, from former mayors to department heads to community organizers to the leaders of the New Britain Public Library, like we'll have later today. These organizations help affect our city in a very positive way. I'm looking to provide you with information about New Britain that's relevant to your everyday lives. And because I know that you're hardworking taxpayers in New Britain, which is truly a community that is making a comeback. Let's begin with my first segment this evening titled, What's Happening in City Hall? There's always a lot going on, especially during this time of year. Um, I want to talk about the help desk. The RSVP program still continues to look for volunteers on the main floor. The shifts go from 9 a.m. to noon and from 1 p.m. to 4. I want to thank those of you who have also graciously uh, donated your time to come out and help. We have people stopping in City Hall all times of day uh, to just be able to sit down and chat with our volunteers. It really provides for a very friendly environment, something that we want City Hall to be, and that's welcoming. Our council meeting, uh, is the second Wednesday of the month. So there's a council meeting on Wednesday, July 8th. 7 p.m. is public participation. The meeting starts promptly at 7.30, sometimes. <laughs> Our commission meetings uh, this month for the month of July, Parks and Recreation meets always the second Thursday of the month, uh, July 17th at 6 p.m. in room 305. Commission for Community and Neighborhood Development meets the second Thursday of the month, being July 10th at 6 p.m. in room 201. Our Zoning Board uh, meets July 17th at 6 p.m. in 201. The New Britain Commission on Animal Welfare, formerly known as the Humane Commission, will meet July 15th at 6 p.m. in room 305. And of course, our favorite, the Arts Commission, meets Monday, July 2nd at 6.30 p.m. in room 305. In the last episode, I had updated you on some public works projects that are ongoing. Uh, that streetscape enhancement work, as I mentioned last month, continues in the area of Main Street by Capitol Lunch. So please be uh, cautious of any delays in, in that area. The next phase of Broad Street's reconstruction is in the works. We currently have gone out to bid and will be finally finishing that project. We are very excited about that. And there will be continued changes in the downtown Central Park area uh, during the streetscape projects. As many of you are well aware, we are changing the, the landscape and the shape of Central Park. It will take a while for this to be complete, but please be cautious of any traffic delays and mindful of all of our public works and contractors that are out there working so diligently. Uh, in City Hall, my next open office hours will be Monday, July 14th at 6 p.m. Uh, they will be in my office at City Hall. We take them on the road every three months. Uh, that's next month. So this month is in my office. I'm sure some of you may want to come out to talk to me about some of the issues that, that are are facing you and your neighborhoods. Uh, I do have some updates as requested from our town clerk, Mr. Mark Bernacki. He wants me to remind everyone that dog licensing is now required by the state of Connecticut beginning uh, in the month of June of 2014. Uh, New Britain, we've had an increase in real estate closing. That's great. Keep buying houses. Keep bringing new families to New Britain. I'm glad to hear that. 
uh, we now have a land records portal, uh, which has 24-7 off-site access. It's going strong. You can get access to that if you visit uh, newbritainct.gov. And he also wanted me to update you that brides and grooms are applying for marriage licenses and that we're going to have a lot of summer weddings this year. So congratulations to all the new couples. Someday I'll find a husband. <laughs> Some tips, tips from our tax collector, uh, Ms. Cheryl Bogosowski. She wanted to make sure uh, that I remind everyone that tax bills have gone out on all of your properties. I know it's not everybody's favorite time of year, but we got to do it. I want um, everyone to be mindful that regardless of getting a bill or not, to remember that your tax bills are due August 1st without penalty. There's also a 24-hour drop box for non-cash payments that is located in front of City Hall on 27 West Main Street. And now for my guest this evening. With school out for the summer and kids buzzing around town, I thought it would be very nice to highlight our beautiful New Britain Public Library and see what's happening here this time of year. So let me introduce you to the director of the library, Pat Rakowski. Welcome to the show, Pat. And um, welcome to our library. <laughs> yeah. Our library, Erin. Right, right. Everybody's library, your library. Thanks so much for being here. We're glad to be here. We're, we're live not live, well, yeah. we're taping, in the local history room. So why don't we start by talking about the local history room? Fabulous. You know, we've been keepers of the New Britain History Room for many years, and we have in here a wonderful treasure of uh, books, scrapbooks. We have cemetery indexes. We actually have the, an the uh, original manuscripts of Elia, El Elia Burrett, who is a learned blacksmith who spoke right. many languages as one of the a very important and very educated man in the history of New Britain, and we're pleased to have his actual manuscripts. That's we have a, it's a wealth of information here. We do newspaper clippings. We have the New Britain Herald, the complete run of the New Britain Herald, um, and we have a variety of donations of photographs from people that, that mm. are really giving a sense of what history was throughout the city of New Britain. Maps. It's just incredible. Come in and take a look at some of the maps that we have here and see the changes of the city, starting from few streets to uh, how many streets that we have now in the, in the big neighborhoods. It's a gem. Uh, we have a wonderful old stove here, which we haven't tried out yet. But <laughs> <laughs> An old universal electric uh, stove correct. sits in the corner. Many <laughs> artifacts that were made here in the city, uh, artwork by local artists. That's of, fantastic. Of, yeah. And also every edition of New Britain High's uh, uh, yearbooks. Yes. <laughs> indeed. indeed, New Britain High. Uh, we have several from Aquinas, and we also have Pulaski as well, too. <laughs> nice, nice. They're well used. So if you're ever looking to find out Your some, old some history <laughs> about the city of New Britain, really just come up here and, and take a look. What are the hours that the... They the are open limited hours, uh, Monday and Wednesdays, 9 to 2, and Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1 to 4. And uh, special appointments are made with the two uh, librarians who know this collection very well and can answer your questions. And we also do looking for information on the site if people have a particular question that they want to have asked. We do, we get questions through email, through telephone, um, I'm sure. all over the world. Oh, I'm In fact, sure. we actually have visitors. We had a visitor from Japan who was doing research on a book on zippers. He was writing a book on zippers. And one of the early uh, manufacturing companies here was famous for a zipper. And he came here to find information on it. That's great. Yeah. Well, in addition to the local history room, the library has many, many, many more things to offer as well. So I want to give you the opportunity to, to talk about the, I mean, I don't even know where and to there begin. Are, I, I don't even so know much. where to stop. You're going to have to stop me after a while because I can yeah. just go on and on. But what I will say is we have this great brochure. And this brochure is every single service that we provide mm -hmm. for every single age, from children to teens to adults. Um, it's all listed in here, and we have it at the front desk. Come in and help yourself. Come in and get a library card. Library cards are free. All you need to do is be interested in coming to the library and be a resident of New Britain. And the great perk about having a library card is your library card is good at all public libraries throughout Connecticut. Uh, okay. But if you don't want to drive to another library and they have a book that we don't own, we borrow it for you through a Connecticut card delivery service. They deliver the book here. When you're finished, we deliver the book back for them. We want to get books That's in everybody's nice. hands, movies in everybody's hands, and we want to make it as easy as possible that we can do it. That's great. And for those of you who don't know where the library is located, I, I, I think everybody mm -hmm. kind of knows where it is. But if you don't, you can find them at 20 High Street. 20 High Street is where the library is. Parking lots in the back, kind of next to, right in between the, the YMCA. It's really easy to find. It's a really 
really friendly environment, but very kid friendly as well. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of programs that they have going on um, right here for our, our children. We were just taking part in the summer reading bash, um, which is going on all day today. I think it's going on. I'll, I'll let you talk about what's it's going on throughout the summer. Perhaps. I know there's much more. There's always activities going on all the time for any ages. Uh, the children, uh, uh, actually for all ages, we are doing summer reading club. Come in and sign up to summer re read throughout the summer, and all you have to do is read a book, and give an uh, opinion of the book, tell us about it, and you get to enter into a drawing and win a prize. Nice. Not just for kids but for teenagers and for adults because we want to emphasize it's so important. You've got to keep that reading going. We all know it's important for kids because that's summer lo reading loss and they need to continue to do it in the summer so they don't get behind. But the adults enjoy it and the teens enjoy it just as much as the kids do. So we have programs all around our summer reading clubs. There's a variety of summer uh, science uh, uh, programs throughout the month. We have movies for all ages. Um, we have hands-on crafts all the time. We're doing an art workshop for adults. We're also doing a storytelling workshop uh, funded by the Community Foundation, thanks to them. Um, the American Oral History uh, Group is meeting here at the library, and I don't know if you've heard about the project, but they are collecting African American histories. It's all too often everybody has their stories, but nobody writes them down. Yeah. And although we have a limited amount of that information <coughs> in the library here, it's just going to grow to to really support that history as it should be. It's so many important things that the African Americans contribute to this community. That's great. That's awesome. Um, one thing that I know I didn't know when I first came here for my original meeting with you when uh -huh. I first took office was that you can actually rent books online on your uh -huh. iPad. Good. Thank you for bringing so, that up. <laughs> Absolutely. We that. have a whole downloadable collection and we're very pleased again. Uh, grant funding, <coughs> excuse me, from the Community Foundation. This year we uh, added quite a considerable amount of children's books to oh, the downloadable okay. collection in addition to the adult. We've also just recently ad added Spanish books to the downloadable Great. collection. And if you don't know how to download it, that's one of our services that we do here at the library. Our librarians will teach you. Have problems with your cell phone? Have problems with your e-reader device? Have a computer class, a computer question? Come in and ask a librarian. And we'll, if we don't know the answer, although we have some very talented people on the staff that know <laughs> most of the answers, um, they will find out for you. Because we're in the information business. We always look for information. I've always done that. We've been the original search engine here way before Google and Yahoo. <laughs> and we do commuter, computer classes, too, from the basics from using a mouse all the way on up to Excel and PowerPoint and Publisher. I think that's a good slogan for the New Bern Public Library. We are the original search well, engine. Well, we are the original. <laughs> <laughs> I think we put that on the front of the building. We were Yahoo before Yahoo. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> um, but I think there may be some people watching that may not have a computer at home. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can talk mm -hmm. about the hours of the computer lab. Our computer lab is open the entire time the library is. It just closes uh, a little bit earlier before the evening. Uh, you can come in and use up to 90 minutes to sign on for a computer. It has access to the Internet. It has all Microsoft Office uh, suite on there. Um, and again, we have staff who can answer questions. All you need is a library card to sign up to use it, and it's you're free. in and golden. Great. Yeah. And that, it's free. It's all free. That's <laughs> our programs are free. Our library card is free, and the computer usage is all free. You can't beat that. That's a great bargain, and it makes your dollar go further. And especially in the summertime, too, when it gets hot, and people might not and have air conditioning at home. It's nice and cool uh -huh. in here, too. So yeah. it's a great place to, to have a summer escape, too. We, we, we do that great in the summertime. We also do that great to, in the snowstorms and electrical outages. We're really lucky. We still get electricity because I guess we're underground. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And w one of the big storms that we had in the past, we were a charging station. We were a station for people to get some warmth. We were a station for people to get some yeah. connection with other people when they were all closed off and they had no electricity. That's great. That's great. Anything else? Other programs that you may want to talk well, about? Let's see. Um, we do book discussions. We have two different book discussions. We do one at the Senior Citizen Center. Uh, the children always have programs. They have time for, t no matter what age, time for tots. Great socialization program for both parents, grandparents, and it's great to see the difference in moms and dads mm -hmm. that are coming in here. Do some storytelling, do some play with toys, and they get to connect with each other and talk to each other as parents. There's always something going on here. We have a newsletter. You want to find out what our activities are? Pick a copy of our newsletter. Go to our webpage, www.nbpl.info. Our newsletter is there. Our calendar of events is there. Uh, all the big things that are happening at the library are there, so it will keep you well informed.
You can also find them on Facebook. On Facebook. If you yes, search on Britain Facebook. Public Library on You're Facebook. Right. And you can find all the You're events good, that are going Aaron. on. You know everything that's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I try. <laughs> I try. But I, I think that it's it really is a true gem of the community. I know I started coming to the New Britain Public I Library. I remember when, when you I were was. here. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I remember your dad bringing dragging you in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I remember coming here as a child and all through my, you know, elementary school years. And actually, even when I was in college too instead of studying at my college library mm -hmm. I used to come here instead because I just felt it was more peaceful and quiet and I could really get away and concentrate um, I really do I appreciate having this in, in New Britain and I, I hope that everybody out there watching and, and listening it will come and check it out and even if you're not into books or anything That's right there's DVDs right there's downloadable there's computers um, there's magazines, there's newspaper, we have foreign right. book collections, Spanish and, uh, and, and uh, yeah. Polish, as well as some Arabic books. But it's just really interesting, too, to look at the architecture of the mm, building. It's a beautiful building. Um, it, it, and it there's indeed. actually three, well, let's talk about yeah. that for just a couple minutes. There's three buildings mm -hmm. that we are connected. <laughs> that's right. We started in the main Irwin building after we received funding from Cornelius B. Irwin, who was part of the institute who started us, and the institute is still our founding fathers here, our founding board, um, and they, in 1901, built this beautiful building, which was de designed by William Brooks, an, a well-known architect at that time. Uh, and we were here till about 19, we were in this building and had children's services, uh, and the children just got to be too much for the librarians, mm -hmm. and they built another benefactor came along in 1931 and gave us money for the children's department. So we were two separate buildings. If you look at it, the statues, the carvings, right. you really have to take some time because you miss so much. Uh, they're both well done, built uh, architecturally. Then in 1976, we joined both buildings. Yep. So the library, the main library, was joined with the children's services. It's really interesting to look at the architecture because you have two such old mm -hmm. old buildings and then a newer building mm -hmm. in the middle. It's certainly Very interesting. Contrast. But there's yeah. there's a lot of history to be found uh, in this building, not just in the architecture itself, in the room that we're in, in the local history in the room. staff. In the <laughs> staff, yes. They're very knowledgeable <laughs> staff. Um, but I, I want to thank you. I know I have to move along because we only have a certain yeah. amount of time here. Right. But I want to thank you so much for, for giving a little insight to what goes on at the New Britain Public Library and encourage everybody to come down and check it out yeah. and come visit Pat. Everybody come see Pat. <laughs> and I want to thank you for coming here, but I also want to thank you for being so supportive along with the rest of the city government. Oh, and government as it's well, my too. pleasure. It is a wonderful community to have a library in because they use it so well. So And I'm so much, too. Uh, yes. and It gets a lot, a lot of use. But in addition to all the events that we have going on, not just at the library, there's a lot of other events that are going on throughout the city uh, in, in the month of July that I would like to touch upon for a few moments. Um, on Wednesday, July 2nd, uh, we start our uh, Walnut Hill Free Summer Music Festival that's at the Darius Miller uh, Memorial Band Shell. Those go on every Monday and Wednesday in the summer from 7 to 9 p.m. It's free. I encourage you all to come out and uh, take a, a listen on a good summer night. We have some really great bands that will be playing. That runs until the end of August, so I hope you can make it out for at least one every Monday and Wednesday. On Thursday, July 4th, my favorite holiday, Independence Day, I want to remind everybody of the Great American Boom that's at Stanley Quarter Park. Things are a little different this year. We're starting at 5 p.m. It used to start earlier um, with the, the activities for the kids and the food trucks and whatnot. We'll be starting at 5 p.m. And everybody knows that the state's best fireworks start promptly a little after 9. So I, I think I'll see a lot of you there. Um, the downtown district is having a free open mic night. Uh, they're located at 66 West Main Street. That's Friday, July 5th. Uh, on Sunday, July 13th, the New Britain Museum of American Art will have a masterpiece tour from 1 to 2 p.m. That's free with museum admission. On Tuesday, uh, July 21st, the Greater New Britain uh, Chamber of Commerce will have its 15th annual golf tournament. That's at Stanley Golf Course. And on Sunday, July 28th from 2 to 4.30 p.m., the Connecticut Theater Company will be at the Repertory Theater on Norden Street. It's $20 for adults, 18 for seniors, and children under 18, you can, um, it's $18 for them too. You can buy tickets online or at the theater website. 
There's a few other things going on in town I want to remind you of too, and that's that the New Britain Museum of American Art is open to the public for free every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The New Britain Public Library also has free movies and other activities that were mentioned earlier on the show. Uh, every Sunday throughout the summer, Trinity on Main, located at 69 Main Street, on the corner of Chestnut and Main, they have uh, Sunday Summer Jazz. So that's $8 at the door, $6 in advance, and that goes every Sunday all summer long. Uh, I want to remind you, too, that the pools at A.W. Stanley and Willowbrook Park are open every day. Uh, you can do a daily admission. You don't need a pool pass. Uh, you can purchase a pool pass for the whole summer, but you can just go there any day that you'd like. And also, very important for the first time in a long time, a long time. <laughs> the New Britain Public Library will have summer Saturdays. They will be open from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. every Saturday throughout the summer. That's exciting. It is. <laughs> first time in many years. Right. Yep. So that's about all the time that we have for today. Another big thank you to Pat Rutkowski, director of New Britain Public Library. A thank you on behalf of all the New Britain residents for all of the educational and fun summer plans for the children and adults in town. And I want to thank all of you for watching and direct you to the bottom of the screen uh, for our website, office number, and other ways to get more information regarding the show or just to talk about the issues that affect you. I hope to see you all back next month for another edition of Around New Britain with Mayor Stewart.